This blue crystal collection is 2.03 grams of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. And we also have 10 milliliters of water that is distilled. We are going to combine these two in a 250 milliliter beaker. 200 milliliter beaker? 250. The, the copper 2 sulfate that, uh, pentahydrate is being dissolved in the distilled water in the 250 milliliter, in the 250 beaker. milliliter beaker. Now we have a 250 milliliter beaker with a dissolved copper to sulfate pentahydrate in water, in the distilled water, in distilled water that is distilled. We are now going to add a 6 molar sodium hydroxide 10 milliliters of it in a 10... <laughs> we are adding them together. And it's 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. And now we will swirl gently because the because it is, will burn our skin and that's not good. <laughs> okay, so here we have this mixture of copper to sulfate pentahydrate and six molar sodium hydroxide. We are going to heat it over a Bunsen burner and put the watch glass over to reduce splattering. Over a period of time, it will just decompose into copper to oxide and water. We will notice this change by the, the solution turning black. After we heated our solution, um, it completely decomposed into water and copper to oxide. We are now going to filter it to separate the water from the copper to oxide which is the black stuff at the bottom of the beaker. Some black you precipitate. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do just that much for now. Just because we put so much water to make sure that we all got it decomposed, that it's gonna take a little while for all the water to get out of it. And it wasn't sticking to the side of the beaker. Yeah. See, look at all the water. Look at all the water. It's, it's, it's starting in 93.